Here's how I'm running a $10,000 a month business completely passive. It is simple, but not easy. It takes a ton of time up front to learn all the skills, acquire the knowledge, all the information that is needed. That is a year, two, sometimes three year process. But then once you have the information in your brain, which is the step that everyone wants to skip, you can then start to scale and run a business. And mine is probably 95% passive. Here's exactly what I'm doing. So first off, what is my niche? Right now I'm working with only macroeconomic big YouTubers. So so I am incredibly niche down. And why am I working with these guys? First off, they are older men, usually 50s and up. Second, they are incredibly wealthy. Third, they make a ton of money from YouTube and from their services that they have. And fourth, and most importantly, I know all of these guys. These are my friends. These are the people that I hang out with, almost all of the big macroeconomic YouTubers. So that is very easy for me to get them as clients. So then what I did was once I had all the information, before I even started my business, we'd be in the green room at some sort of a speaking engagement. And I would just be, I would be showing them what they can do to improve their analytics and get more views. Because if they get more views, they're going to sell more of their product. If they sell more product, they're going to make more money and they will be happier. So I'm, I'm putting all the value up front. I mean, I'm spending sometimes like I'm after these conferences, I'm having weekly calls with these people trying to help them as much as humanly possible, uh, maximize their growth to get as many views as possible. So I'm providing that base layer of value. And that's before I even thought of monetizing anything like this. It's first developing the skill set that you can do to provide value to people. And if all you do is if you just dump all the value you can provide on someone for free, when you have a paid product, they are going to be so much more willing to subscribe to it. So then after Andrew Tate came out and his marketing strategy, right away I saw what he was doing. He was he was pretty much just blasting. He'd have uh, 50, 100, 200 uh, super affiliates who would make uh, uh, TikToks, Instagrams, YouTube accounts for him, and they would post his interview clips to make him go as viral as possible. So if 20 people are posting two videos of yours on four different platforms, you're getting posted hundreds and hundreds of times a day and then you can make multi-millions of views and then what did everyone start doing this so they well it took a long time but if you can be first on a trend like i i noticed this right away because i was entrenched into the space so right away right when he started i noticed what he was doing and why it worked so well so i saw this as an opportunity for a, a potential business deal so i approached some of these people and i said hey why don't i take over and manage all of your social medias i'll, I'll take clips from all of your long form videos and then and turn them into clips and uh, post them on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube shorts, just the whole spiel. And a lot of them were like, absolutely, this is going to grow all channels that I have at once. Then you might be saying that doesn't sound like a passive business, Josh. So how did you do this? So then I had to figure out how to hire people. And I just started using a Filipino website to try and find employees. So what was the process of hiring these people? It was first off, I needed to find someone that I could train to find these clips. At first, I had to find the clips because I understood the content. So what I did is I hired someone who would just watch me find the clips. We'd just hop on a Zoom every morning. I'd explain the process after a long uh, hiring process, which, which was probably scanning through a hundred people. You find someone who, who finds the clip. Then at the same time, you're finding someone to edit them. You're just doing the Alex Hermosi type editing, but that was before I even knew who Alex Hermosi was. I was just like, this looks good. Uh, big flashy words. You want as, as much going on as possible. So you, you have the, the live text, super easy, then finding some additional B roll, which is going to, uh, help retention purposes. Then what I did was I had to find someone to train and knew how to manage all the social medias, how to post on Instagram, TikTok, how to post a uh, reels, the how to just do everything. So all of these people were, uh, when you delegate them to the Philippines, it comes out to be very, very cheap. Let's say it's $160 a week per person. So then what I would do is I would go to these people and say, all right, how about you give me $3,000 a month, which is going to more than cover the cost. I, I wasn't telling them this, but wait, how about you give me $3,000 a month? And then we get some sort of commission based structure to if I perform in a, a better than average way, I get rewarded for my services. So there would be a base level, which I had to hit. And then anything above that, there would be different commission structures for me to gain uh, additional income from. And that, that's usually how you want to make it. So what were the different kinds of commissions? It was all dependent on the person. It could either be views or clicks on the website or actual sales on the website. It could be subscribers, whatever that person valued, we would, I would just use that sort of metric. And then after a few months, I started to pick up some more clients and then I got a few more. And then what happens is you're getting a lot of income coming in. And eventually those teams, after a few weeks of working, doing the exact same task every single day, they get very good at what they're doing. And at this point, 
at, at, in my business, I do nothing. If I go away for a week, I don't even have to look at the group chats to see what they're doing because I can just look at the social medias. Everything looks great. Sometimes I don't even check and it has been running very, very smoothly, 100% passive. So then I can focus my time figuring out ways to maximize results, which I can then push on to the people posting, editing, and finding the clips to where I can just be a very hands-off structure to the business. I um, mean, if, if you think about it, I, let's say, can I can produce 10 widgets of utility every day. And that is going to be my maximum. Maybe if I work super hard and I get very good, I can produce 12, 13, maybe even 20 someday. But maybe one person that I hire produces five units of, of utility a day. And yeah, okay, that doesn't make sense. I, I produce 10, he produces five. But what happens when I hire him? Maybe the quality goes down by 50%, but my time gets freed up by 100%. So then if I hire another person, you don't just get, you don't maintain 50% utility. If you hire one person, then another, all at five units of utility. No, that is a, a exponential increase. And then these two people, are doing the exact same work that I would be doing, but my time is 100% freed up and I'm just making slightly less money. So then if you take it from two employees to 20, then you're doing a hundred times more than you personally would ever be able to get done in a day, in a week, in a month. But at the same time, your time is still completely free and you have the ability to make way more money. So the main skill set that I've acquired is delegating tasks to other people and focusing on what really moves the bottom line. I know in this little small business that I have where I'm pretty much just making 10 grand a month, every single month, no, none of those tasks, I can directly impact the bottom line to make a drastic difference. I know that if I hire someone for cheap, they can do it just as good as I can and I can keep that time. What is something that you can delegate onto other people that you know the skill set needed to do? So why does this take so long to get done? Because first off, I have to have all those skills already in place. It, it does not make sense to hire people to just to hire people. You have to do it for a specific reason. You don't just delegate a task that you aren't even doing if you don't know how to do it because then you don't know who's good at it and who's not or who's teachable. And it takes a lot of time to get the connections uh, to when you do want to start something, you can just ask people right away because you've already provided value to so many people. So, so the real benefit is when you have a skill set that you develop over time that you can then pitch to these people for free. Then when you do want to do something for them paid, then you can get them as a client very easy because they've already seen that you do good work, that you know what you're talking about and that you are specialized in the field. And once you become friends with them, more importantly, they want to work with you. It is almost the best of all worlds. So how do you actually develop these skills? That is much more difficult. That is a long process. And what I'm doing is something very, very small. So how can you do something similar? Uh, just an example for a potential business that I was thinking about. Just look at what the top YouTubers do in, in whatever niche you, you're in. I mean, mine is macroeconomics and I like to watch all those guys on YouTube. So I'm big fans of them. But what do the top guys do? Who, who are the absolute biggest names? in the field what do they do that the smaller guys don't or the medium-sized guys don't they probably do, they probably do different things with their email list with their twitter with their instagram with the TikTok, with different thumbnail and titles uh, different descriptions different things with their product that they're actually selling what products they are selling what works how they pitch it i mean there's so many different things and then what you can do is pitch what all the top guys are doing in your field to the medium-sized guys because they most likely want that done and it's not realistic for you to work with the top level guys because they already have teams doing virtually everything that's being done because they are the top level guys for a reason. So you pitch those, what the top guys do to the medium tier people. And this would work not in any niche. I mean, it would work in carpentry or uh, plumbing or electrician. It does not matter. Just see what the best guys do kind of analyze it and you have to have a well enough understanding so you know what they do and why they do it and why it actually works. And then if you can develop those skills, you can start doing it for all the medium level people to bring them up to the top. And I bet that that's, that's pretty much what I've been doing and it works fantastic. The biggest mistake that I see a lot of these big or the medium tier guys doing in any business is they think they have to do everything on their own. Uh, it's, it's, not hard. It is possible to grow a business to one, 10, maybe even $15 million a year on your own. 
but it is virtually impossible to grow a business to 50, 100, a billion dollars a year on your own. You need to be very good at hiring people. And, and that is a process that I think is one of the most valuable skills that anyone can learn. Uh, even if you don't want to learn how to hire people, but learning and how to manage them for any skill set, any job, anything useful that you could use to delegate tasks off to people, saving time is, I think, the most important thing. Because why does anyone want to get rich? Why do I want to get rich? I want maximum freedom. I want freedom of time, freedom of money, freedom to go wherever I want to, whenever I want to. That is usually why people want to make money. And the way you can do that passively, unless you make a bunch of money doing uh, tech or uh, investing or doing something kind of lucky, then you have to run a business where you have a lot of flexibility. And the only way you'll ever be able to do that is if you can manage and learn how to hire people. So if you want a full video on how I hire people and what the process looks like, I'll even show you live exactly what I'm doing and why. Uh, leave a comment. And if you want to see how I close almost every single business deal that I approach, you can click here.